Finding the right Forex strategy can be a treacherous experience itself. Finding one that works can be an absolute nightmare. However, what if I told you that you could have a perfect, simple strategy that fits just right, has the ability to be opened up to endless profits in the right control? Well, that's exactly what we're going to cover today. No more looking for 100% win rate strategies, but rather a strategy that's only as good as you're willing to make it. What exactly does that mean? See, the problem with a lot of strategies is it can be hard to adapt to the certain style of trader that you need to be in order to effectively use that strategy. Some strategies just don't work if you're not fit for it. And most strategies have a very specific use case. So let's dive into exactly how we combated that. The first thing we had to bring to the strategy was a simple but effective trigger. By trigger, I'm referring to the specific action that needs to happen on the chart for a trade to be viable for a trader to trade or for you to actually start doing technical analysis. It needs to be some sort of action, some sort of thing to let you know as a trader that this Forex pair is ready to be used. So for example, on the chart here, a lot of strategies that involve using a simple moving average or moving average, something like this, just a nice line that goes through the charts like this. You can see I have it turned here on the indicators. So for example, a trigger for a common strategy for using a simple moving average is when you get price crossing over the simple moving average. So here I'm just outlining the simple moving average that we have. And a typical trigger for something like this is when you get price crossing the line. That moment that there's a cross, that's typically a trigger for the trade for the strategy. So this is what I mean by trigger. We needed to find some common type of trigger for us to be like, okay, it is time to start the action on the strategy. Now, because the chart is always fulfilling some sort of trend, I figured the best way to trade and the best trigger that we could use for a strategy would be to base our trigger off a simple trend move. So for me, that was trying to figure out what the crucial move was in a Forex trend. Basically, I was trying to figure out what was the moment, or what was the thing, the crucial moment that made the trend reverse or made the trend switch directions. What was that crucial moment that you see in every single Forex pair trend? What was that crucial moment when you saw the charts flip? For me, that's what I was trying to figure out. So for example, I was looking for these moments. The trend started reversing like here, here, here. What were these key moments that made the trend reverse down or up? Exactly what I was trying to figure out. So I spent literal hours upon hours studying every single pair, every single time there was a trend reversal, trying to find exactly what made those trend reversals happen. But after hours and hours, I finally found what it was. I found the key the reversal. See, the most common trigger that I found was when the chart or candlesticks or the price of the pair surpassed a major high or major low. I'll show you an example. So for example, in this example that we just showed you, we had major trend reversals happening here. The thing that I found told us when a trend reversal was going to happen was when we had price or the charts or the candle cross a major higher low. So this is going up. We had a major high here soon. Actually, let me rewind this so you can see a better example here. So price moved up. We had a major higher low here. As soon as price crossed that, we had price move to the downside. Same thing happens here. There's a lower high here. As soon as price crosses that, it moves up. We had a low here. Price crosses it, moves down. We had a high here. Price crosses it, moves up. We have a low there, price crosses it and then moves down. So anytime you had a break, one of these major highs or lows, that was a key and crucial moment for price to reverse. And I'll show you, it works on every time frame. Even if we go to the one minute, for example, you know, like for example here, we had this nice major downtrend, you can mark one of the major highs in like one of these three spots here. We'll just pick, for example, all three of these. This is a major high, as soon as price crossed above that, we had price move up. Here was a low, price cross it, and then eventually move down. So anytime you had a major 
across one of these major highs or major lows was a very crucial and key moment. And this was an amazing find. It took many hours to find exactly this, but just this alone wasn't strong enough to give us a good trading strategy. There's so much more needed, but this was so important. One of the first stepping stones in building a simple but effective strategy. Now for extra confidence, I added what was called an MACD. This was an indicator that helped me see where the major highs and the major lows were. So I have the MACD below, and as you can see, some of the major highs and lows that we already marked out actually seem to correspond. But let's go back to the hour and looks. Let's look at these other trades we were talking about. So for example, when we had this trend happen here, price moved up and then like we said, we marked out this major low. When price crossed this major low, we had movement to the downside. How do we know that this is actually a major low? That's where the MACD was added for that extra confidence. We wanted to make sure that we are using a proper true high or true low. And as you can see, if we move down from this, it lines up with the low on our MACD, as you can see there. So this was just for extra confidence to show us that it was a true high or low. And after that, it was just smooth sailing. Just kidding. Definitely not letting you off that easy. I mean, you can go ahead and leave and uh, try out that strategy, but just that alone, it's pretty much a 50-50 coin flip. So the real problem was finding the rest of the strategy. Where would I enter? How would I enter? How would I know that I wasn't just gonna get faked out? You know, cause fake outs were also a common occurrence in itself. You know, as you see, if we look at this chart below here, you watch, the candle might go below for a second that ends up getting faked out if i went to go take the trade there I might have ended up losing so how would i know what was a true break and what was not a true break these were all sorts of different things that i had to figure out to make that coin flip more of a guarantee so this led me to my next discoveries the first problem i had to tackle was figuring out a way to make sure that i wasn't going to be faked out once again, I spent many, many hours just staring at fake outs and breakouts over and over and over again to find out once again exactly what made it a true break and then what made it a fake out. And once again, I discovered exactly what that was. If you're enjoying the content and you're enjoying the education, go ahead and drop a like down below. Also, maybe you're brand new to Forex, maybe you're not brand new, maybe you're an intermediate trader, maybe you're just in the market for a new broker. Go ahead and sign up with Hanko Trade. They are a super fast, efficient, reliable broker. I've been using them for a couple of years now. Um, they even have their in-house platform, Hanko Trader or Act Trader, whatever you'd like to call it. Which Hanko Trade has some great advantages by having their own in-house platform. I use their in-house platform, Act Trader, myself has many great advantages, good leverage, fast, efficient market execution. If you're interested in using them, maybe you're a scalper, maybe you like to trade quick, super efficient, reliable. Go ahead and sign up. My link will be down in the description below. Let's get back into the video. So I found the key and it's what I like to call the true break. It's pretty simple. If only one candle pops out of the break and immediately goes back down under, it's a fake out. But if one candle pops out of the break, and if another candle is able to close above that candle without going back under the break line, then that's a true break. But like I said, if only one candle pops out and immediately goes back under, it is not a true break. That's where you're most likely gonna find the fake outs. This one's pretty simple to understand. This leaves us with our final problem of building this strategy. Where do we enter? No, man, this was a tough one to figure out. See, the problem with it wasn't figuring out how to enter, it was figuring out where to enter and which one to pick. So there were many different options on where to enter. So the first option was the most simple. Enter on the breakout line. Wait for price to break above, make its true break. And then you wait for price to pull back and you enter on the break line. But see, the problem with that was 60% of the time there was some sort of major pullback below the breakout line. Okay, so I'll enter on the pullback then. Then I would enter on the pullback, but then I would miss the other breakout line trades 40% of the time. I would end up missing out on a trade because it didn't do the pullback. So this one really just came down to preference. And this is exactly how this strategy will form to how you like to trade. You know, if you like to be in more trades, it's probably better to enter on the breakout line. If you're okay and you're more of a patient person, probably better to enter on the pullbacks. Because on the pullbacks, you're also getting a better risk to reward ratio. 
I'll show you an example here. See, with example number one, you get in more trades more often. You also risk price pulling back even more. See example number two, you may miss a few trades here and there, but you're getting a better risk to reward ratio. Anyways, this is, you know, in the short term, it doesn't really matter. Over a long term, it works out to be something pretty similar, but what's most important is trading what you're comfortable with. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you're okay with just a small profit margin, because remember what I said at the beginning of the video, that this strategy in the right hands has the potential to have unlimited profit. Well, this is where the real sauce comes into play. See, the most important part of this strategy is the confirmation. This is the cherry on the top. This is the thing that will make the difference between $1,000 a month, $4,000 a month. See, for most people, this could be the difference between being a part-time trader and a full-time trader. But this is where you have to put the work in. Most people are afraid to put the work in. So you're probably wondering what do you mean by confirmations? Or if you understand what I mean by confirmations, you're probably wondering what confirmations I mean. Well, confirmations are essentially just some extra technical analysis, maybe some indicators, maybe some sort of fundamental analysis that will give you edge that you need to bring your strategy to higher profit margins. This is the part where you have to bring your own knowledge from what you've learned into the game. Because this strategy is a simple but effective placemat for a strategy. It has everything you need for a good strategy, but what really matters is what you place on top of it. Because it can bring it to the next level if you can find the right confirmations to use with the strategy. So now let's dive into exactly what I mean by confirmation. I'll show you just a small example. So what I mean by confirmations is that you understand the strategy, you understand what you need to do to take it. Now you have to restrict yourself to only taking certain trades when it has a few other factors. And by factors, I mean like technical analysis, maybe indicators that also align with the strategy in order for you to take it. So just a very simple way to put it for you to understand would be this. This would be a very simple confirmation, something very basic. Maybe you could only enter the trade when all the other things of the strategy that we just talked about are good to go. When all those are good, take the strategy. But the confirmation will be, you can only take that strategy, you can only take that trade when it's in New York session. Maybe that's your confirmation. You can't trade it in the Asian section, can't trade it in the London session. Maybe you can only trade it in the New York session. So anywhere from 9.30 Eastern time all the way up to 4 p.m. Maybe that's your only, maybe you restrict yourself to only trading within those certain times. That's a very basic, simple confirmation. The way you come to making your strategy way more profitable is you take on a demo account, you take every single trade that you see that aligns with the strategy. And then you go back and you analyze why were these certain trades losing trades? Why were these certain trades winning trades? Maybe you notice that the difference between trading in the London session and the difference between trading in the Asian session and the difference between trading in the New York session is drastic in terms of profit when you're trading in the New York session. Maybe you notice that most of the time you're winning or you're winning bigger risk to rewards when you're in the New York session. So you really have to analyze what's going to give you that edge. So for example, a more technical analysis would be something like this. So here we have a downtrend. We have a lower high here, let's dive in. We have a lower high here. It's a true lower high as we see on the MACD. Now we just need to look for a true break. Well, we have a true break here. We have the first candle pop out. This is the breakout candle. And then we have the second candle close above the breakout candle. So that's a true break. So according to the strategy we discussed, we would enter on the line, right? We put our stop loss below. And as you can see, we would have got stopped out. So now it's time to add a confirmation. Well, our confirmation will be something like this. Maybe we can say that the breakout candle, the candle that breaks out, the open of that candle has to be above the simple moving average. And I have on a hundred simple moving average. So maybe the breakout candle has to start above or in the case of the opposite below. Maybe that will be one of our simple confirmations. So let's move forward. Let's move forward. We are going to use replay mode here. We are going to 
use that. Okay, so let's say now we are trading and that's our requirement. We actually haven't had a low form yet. We had a low form here, but we haven't had a low form here yet. We need to see green first. Okay, now we see green. So now this is our new higher low. And see, we're starting to see price try to break out, but we're having multiple, multiple fake outs. As you can see, we're not going to take those because those are still considered fake outs. But here we have a true break because we have the higher low here. And then we have the first breakout candle here. And it is also, like I said, below the simple moving average, right? <clears throat> the candle opened up below. It's not above, it's below. And like I said, that was going to be our confirmation. And we, so this is our breakout candle. And then as you can see, we had price close below our breakout candle. So this is enough confirmation for us to go ahead and enter on this trade. Now we're going to wait for price to pull back to the breakout line. And that's going to be our entry requirement. And we'll just go for a simple one-to-one. -one. See price pulls back just like that. We have price hit our take profit. A nice simple one-to-one -one trade. But as you can see, just as a small example, I know this is only two trades, but something like that. It's making sure to understand and, and analyze the difference between winning and losing trades and what can make the difference. So something as simple as those parameters can be an extra confirmation. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Got a ton of other videos explaining this strategy more in depth with other confirmations too that you might be interested in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like it down below if you've learned something and uh, thanks for watching.